Now to present the Democratic Party scholarships to the three uh, award winners. Uh, Jim Hunt, who is the head of the Democratic Party Scholarship Committee, uh, asked Jim Hunt and the three award winners to come forward right now. Welcome them all out, please. Good afternoon, fellow Democrats. Thank you for hanging in there. And it's time for some really good news of just thanking and awarding these scholarships to these three young scholars. Could these three young scholars come out, please? Come on out. Big hand for our scholars this year. My name is Jim Hunt, and I'm from Dorchester, and I work with the Community Health Center movement, but I'm a very proud Democrat, member of the State Committee, and thrilled to be here with this assignment. My co-chair, Pat Armstrong, couldn't be with us today. She is recovering from an illness, so please keep her in your thoughts and in your prayers. Patricia Armstrong is the one who has carried this forward for the last decade, so I want you to remember Pat, please. Today, we are thrilled to give two John F. Kennedy scholarships to two, to two recipients for that particular award that our 35th president would be proud of. The other is the John Joseph Moakley internship, which we will also award to one person. The first JFK scholarship will be given to Kevin Holst Canavan. Kevin. Thank you. He deserves it. Kevin graduated from Suffolk University in May with a BA in International Relations and Marketing. Growing up between a suburb of Brookline and, international, and internationally, Kevin has been interested in politics from a very young age. For the past six years, he has worked in the fashion industry for being, bringing big labels before starting his internship with the Massachusetts Democratic Party last September. For the past 10 months, he has been interning with the State Party, where he's worked on front-end design of the current website, which was launched in October. Thanks to Kevin and our new website, we have a cleaner product, more user-friendly design, with information regarding the State Committee, our caucus process, the State Convention, and believe it or not, these wonderful tags that you're all wearing, in part, were designed and the logo designed and the credentials designed by our own Kevin Holtz Canavan. In his essay in this very competitive scholarship, he said, what makes me passionate about democratic politics is that I have never lost faith in the ability of government to give the food to the people. I believe that our life is too short and that we should do everything possible to make it as decent for everyone. He feels strongly about gender equality, identifying with Democrats because of that very fact, because modern society will not succeed until all of us, especially women, succeed. For the rest of his internship, Kevin will focus on fundraising for our party as well as planning and execution of special events. A big hand for Kevin Holst Canavan. And just don't worry, he already got the check. Our second JFK recipient is Jen Toronto. Big hand for Jen. Originally from Marblehead, Jen is rising as a junior at Stonehill College in Easton, majoring in political science and international studies. At Stonehill, Jen is a member of the Sylvia Donaldson Society for Women in Politics, a society for undergraduates from different academic disciplines who discuss ways to empower women on campus to consider careers in public affairs. She is also the VP of the Stonehill College Democrats, where she organizes events, volunteers to promote democratic equality on campus, and elect officials through campaigning and canvassing. In her essay, in her essay, she said, I am, I am passionate 
about politics because I sincerely believe that our democracy only works when we have engaged citizens from all walks of life. Being involved in politics, I can directly contribute to making the world a more just place. I am passionate about bringing more women into politics and encouraging women to run for office, which ties, a lot, ties into a lot of our work in our party. This summer, because of the new focus of the Moakley internship, Jen will work not only in fundraising, but she also hopes to reach out to communities of color to increase civic engagement across Massachusetts. Thank you, Jennifer Toronto, and congratulations. On to the Moakley Scholarship. As many of you know, John Joseph Moakley represented Dorchester, South Boston in the 9th District and many parts of the city of Boston and rose in the United States Congress from a lunch bucket Democrat to be chairman of the powerful and distinguished rules committee. We miss Joe, but we wanted to, as Democrats, continue to recognize him through a scholarship which we have now entitled the John Joseph Moakley Internship. Originally from Rahway, New Jersey, Catlin Duffy, our recipient, graduated from Emerson College in May with a BS in political communication. Her background in political communication has shaped the way she sees the political realm specifically in terms of advocating for people who might not have the opportunity or privilege that she has had to amplify their voice. She chose to apply for this communication-oriented scholarship the internship at the Mass Dems because she is passionate about telling a story and using that story to drive social change. Catlin is particularly interested in issues pertaining to poverty, housing, and race relations. After a service trip recently to Detroit, Caitlin has driven to look at the makeup of cities which helps them succeed and what can be done to ensure that success. She says, I'm passionate about politics because I believe that young people and women are unrepresented in politics and that it is important that they contribute to the culture that we seek to improve on. This summer, Caitlin plans on getting more involved with coordinated campaign to ensure that a Democrat is elected in November. Please welcome Caitlin and thank, you, thank Caitlin Duffy for her application to the Moakley Scholarship. Just in closing, I want to thank the party for continuing the scholarship and these three young people that are joined by scores of other who are volunteering for this convention. Thank you all very much. Have a great afternoon.